So um, I'm here today at uh, EMC 2016 and we are with uh, Dr. Fabian uh, Perez-Willard, uh, have, have I said that right? Yes. Um, and we're exploring uh, what Zeiss is currently able to offer in, in terms of uh, Fibsen, a uh, dual beam technology, and I believe you're just going to give us an update to your very popular cross beam system. At EMC this year we're showing the cross beam instrument, we have a cross beam 540 here. Um, right now you can see the, uh, the instrument working. We are, it does, yeah. um, we are milling just a spiral and a substrate and while we are milling we are just uh, imaging live what we are doing. This is our standard mode of operation. Uh, we are offering a series of uh, sessions here at EMC to uh, show customers uh, or focusing on specific topics. We cover for example the automatic sample preparation, um, our correlative 3D workflows. Correlative workflows are very important for size. We have been working on correlating light microscopy with electron microscopes or X-ray microscopes with electron microscopes. In particularly, in, or here we want to show, um, or we're showing uh, the workflow that combines an X-ray microscope with a FIPSEM, since this allows you to characterize a sample over multiple scales in 3D. So I think one of the things I'm, I'm, I'm sure the viewers are interested in is that the uh, these instruments are expensive instruments and they need to be made to work uh, as effectively as and efficiently as possible. How does the technology you guys offer uh, allow the user to do that? Mm -hmm. Well we focus um, when we are developing our cross beam platform we focus on the point uh, highest productivity, highest throughput. Um, there are several aspects that uh, help uh, you obtain very quickly results. One of them I've mentioned already is this live imaging capability. So you can imagine you start uh, a milling uh, process and you just uh, want to image uh, live what you're doing. Start already tuning, tuning the SEM beam to uh, take the after the process has been finished, uh, the final uh, image shot. Yeah. Okay. And can the system be automated in any way for TEM level yes. prep? Another aspect is uh, the TEM sample prep or cross-section preparation. There are um, wizards we are showing here to, that allow the user to very simply generate uh, the samples. The samples can be produced uh, at multiple sites of, of, of the substrate. Um, you can also load uh, many samples at once and have this uh, preparations done on the different samples. That's um, also an important. So that would effectively allow you to program in and then set it running uh, in an automated fashion to make use of the time when maybe you've gone home, for example. Correct. So the, the idea, of course, is to, to, to optimize the machine time and to let the instrument work also during the t uh, night or also safe operating, expensive operator time. Right, so one of the best known features of uh, focused ion beam systems is their 3D capability. Is that still a big, uh, a big selling point for, for Zeiss? 3D tomography is a focus application for Zeiss. So the cross beam instrument is a 3D tool. We have other 3D imaging techniques like the X-ray microscopes okay. in our portfolio. And of course we would like to combine them using our correlative workflows I just mentioned. Uh, specifically, if you think of uh, FIPSEM tomography, it is quite or fairly easy to achieve a nice resolution X and Y direction, that's the imaging plane of the SEM, but it's more difficult to achieve the same um, quality of resolution in the C direction, that's the direction in which the focused ion beam advances. Yeah. And for this we have been developing solutions that finally yield or achieve the result of really giving the user an isotropic voxel of down to less than three nanometers in size. Okay, that, and obviously that's, a, that's an important step uh, as, as 3D tomography and correlative comes ever more important. Excellent. Well, thank you ever so much. Well, thank um, you very you much. You heard it here first, folks. This is the uh, Crossbeam 550, uh, 540, sorry. Um, and uh, if you're interested, check out Zeiss.